Thank you. Um, welcome. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, I want to talk about geo network and accessibility, but I wanted to explain it by uh, a graph shown here, but it got lost in the conversion to uh, PowerPoint. So A11Y uh, stands for accessibility, where the accessibility is the 11 characters like internationalization. And it's a difficult word, so, and we're lazy, so we try to make it short. This is what I want to talk about, the intro, who am I? What is accessibility? Why do we want accessibility? And how do we achieve it? A summary, and where, and that's the, where can you find documentation and more uh, resources? I'm uh, Michel, I'm a front-end developer at Geocat, and I do all things uh, UI and CSS. And I work on GeoNetwork mainly, and recently so a little bit of uh, GeoServer. And I uh, want to start with a disclaimer. I'm not the accessibility expert, uh, so I don't know all the European guidelines. I haven't read the European documents uh, front to back, because it's, uh, the last version is uh, a lot of pages of uh, yeah, challenging uh, literature. It's, uh, I've added a link at the end of the uh, uh, presentation, so if you want to uh, read it yourself, uh, feel free to do it. Um, okay, what is accessibility? According to the, uh, the W3C uh, Web Content Accessibility Guidelines defines how to make web content more accessible to people with disabilities. Accessibility involves a wide range of disabilities, visual, auditory, physical, and a lot more. Um, it's mainly, um, I will... And then there is the European Commission with their um, accessibility uh, uh, thing. Uh, and it's common European accessibility standards help remove barriers for people with disabilities and others. Example given the elderly. So, and why do we want it? Well, to be honest, it's. Uh, European and national regulations, so we sort of have to do it. Um, and therefore also uh, clients and users ask for it. And we just want GeoNetwork to be accessible for all, so we try to make it access, as accessible as possible for everybody. And this was my uh, intro text for, the, uh, for this presentation. And that sort of sums it up, the, the, the situation where we began with uh, GeoNetwork. The, the, the last part, however, currently many sites and tools are developed with accessibility barriers. That was exactly the case for GeoNetwork. So that's also the start of my uh, journey in uh, accessibility. And now the how. Um, yeah, I'm a Geo Network uh, front-end developer, so that's my uh, software. So uh, I started there. Um, so it's a case study to present all kinds of examples um, with the, uh, for the implementation of the guidelines and uh, problems we found, uh, solutions we found. And the Geo Network I tested on is free and four, and it's still Angular, JS, and Bootstrap. Uh, CSS UI framework, and it is uh, uh, tested on the uh, public pages. So not when you not the administration pages or the editor, uh, the metadata editor, and it's tested against uh, European uh, the latest European uh, requirements. And I wanted to start simple. Um, I have. Um, yeah, sorry, but I have to uh, mention all the numbers of the guidelines so you can uh, find them back. 
And I made a, a sort of, uh, I clustered them with, uh, in this case, contrast. The W3C uh, uses an, so another uh, um, grouping of uh, things, but these were the, the main topics that came out of tests and user tests and tests we, uh, from clients who had their website tested and gave us the results of the test. So we start with contrast. That's a um, pretty, uh, well, obvious one. Um, it's contrast of text and contrast of uh, interface components like uh, buttons, uh, inputs, selects. And we have a lot of them. Um, so one problem with text is this is the, the Dutch uh, national uh, uh, metadata catalog, the National Geo Register. And you see the, the, uh, the text presented on a background image. And a lot can be tested with contrast. Um, there's lots of automated testing, but it is automated testing does not test uh, text on background images, so you have to do it yourself. Sorry. I have no notes in my uh, presentation here, so that's, uh, it's difficult. And um, another thing with the uh, contrast is, um, and with Geo Network, we have some uh, styling opportunities in Geo Network. So users can uh, do their own colors. So they can potentially make it worse. <laughs> so, um, for instance, I, this is an extreme example. But at the top, you see uh, uh, white text on a yellow background, and that's uh, very wrong. And what you see, the, the pop-up is a testing tool for in uh, the Chrome browser. When you inspect, you can see the, uh, I hope it's working. Let's see. How do I start a, ah, there it is. Is it moving? Yes. Okay, and you also see the, uh, the last part of the, the pop-up that says accessibility, and it has an AA standard, and it's a 1.14, and it has to be 4.5 on the top of my head. So it's not uh, very good. And also the, what you see in the back, the, the, the input box, um, I use a lot of grays. I used to use a lot of grays, and that's also potentially dangerous to do. So you have to change all colors. We did change all colors, so that's the uh, easy part. Oh. Coming to uh, the next uh, part, it's uh, focus. Let's see. And uh, focus is, um, you have the focus order and the focus visible. Um, focus visible, if I get, present this page, there's a lot of elements on it. And if you don't use uh, a visible focus, you don't know where you are in the page, which element is active. And, um, so, and, and in the past, um, well, I did it, and I've seen it before that people uh, hide the outline of an element because it's ugly. And you see it everywhere. Um, so um, my job was to uh, undo all those things and make it all uh, visible. I, I don't know if it's... No. Yeah, and now you see where you are. Um, I'm using a keyboard only for all the pages. So you, you see the, 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 the visible focus uh, switching. And you see another thing. 
The other thing you see is, um, if I can do it again, the order, the focus order. Is it playing again? Yeah. When you see uh, in the top bar there, it first goes to the right and then to the left. It shouldn't do that. Because the focus order is uh, a logical order. And the thing is, why this uh, happens is uh, um, the browser follows the DOM structure. So if you use things like uh, floating left, floating right, you use the bootstrap framework, you have the pull column and the push column, and then uh, it changes visually the, the order of things, but it's not in DOM structure. DOM structure has a, uh, the wrong order. So that is something you have to write, rewrite your HTML to make it accessible. Let's see, top order. Uh, this is, um, yeah, it, it's keyboard and uh, um, top order. When you use the top button with your keyboard, it, it should work. Everything uh, should be accessible. Everything should be hit. So the, um, the problem is sometimes, uh, sometimes is uh, um, when you don't use uh, an anchor and an, an uh, anchor element without an uh, uh, hyperlink reference or href, uh, you can do it. It's not, uh, but then the browser uh, won't touch the uh, element in your page. So you cannot access it by keyboard, you cannot return enter, and it's not uh, accessible. I think it's... Uh... No, no, let's skip this one, I think. And the... the well, um, can I go back? Um, it's really... Uh... I wanted to do a, uh, a demo at the back, but um, unfortunately, uh, people said it before, I think. I had to uh, do it in PowerPoint, so it's not. And here is the tab order is wrong. Um, it's fairly simple to do, but it's a lot of work. So um, you see, um, it first went to the right side of the page and then to the left side of the page. And if you see the, the code behind the, you see the toggle buttons first in the DOM, that were the buttons on the right side, and you, then you see uh, the top pages on. Uh, so the browser uh, starts from the top, sees the buttons on the right, makes them, uh, uh, gives them the focus, and then starts to, the, and you see the uh, pull right and pull left. So. Uh, DOM structure is wrong, visibly uh, it's, it's okay. So what we have to do is switch the blocks around and hope it still looks the same uh, after that. <laughs> this is a big part. It's uh, for me, uh, reading and writing adds all things uh, text. And it's a lot. Uh, uh, because the next page is, this is, we use Transifex at uh, Geo Network, and there's, uh, I think, 3.5 million words and a lot of translations, and what this basically means is um, descriptions have to be accurate. Uh, it has to describe what is happening, because if you use a screen reader, the user uh, officially be visually uh, disabled user, should know what happens. So a screen reader reads text. And if the text just says close, 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 then uh, a user is lost. Because it, the user doesn't know uh, what is closing. And, um, and also with a, an input, there should be a name or a, a title describing what the import, input uh, element is doing. So that's a lot of work. It's not rocket science, Whoa. but it's a lot of work. Same here with uh, all the buttons, add to map and open link. 
if it's not, uh, that's not enough. Um, there should be uh, uh, something in the code behind describing what is added to the map. I will speed things up. Um, this is uh, the close button. At, it used to say close, and you don't know what is closing. And same thing here with the uh, languages of the page. This page is in Dutch, and the uh, pop-up, the, the date picker, is in English. Because uh, the browser language is in English, and we just switch it to Dutch, and it's not working. So, um, whew, uh, I have to speed things. Re uh, this is using the keyboard to access everything. This is uh, before uh, doing uh, accessibility changes. So what I try to do is go with the keyboard in my menu, and it's not working. Because um, we made the uh, menu uh, open on hover, because that saves you a click with your mouse. But that doesn't work anymore with your uh, keyboard. So. Um, Oh. We have a setting for it to make the menu bar accessible. And now with a keyboard, you can uh, actually enter the page. So it's, it's simple things that can make the, your life easier. And I will skip these hotkeys. Um, Feel free to ask me afterwards uh, to explain more because I'm. Um, no, skip this one. Come on, skip this one, and we we'll end with maps because yeah, that well, we do maps here, so um, it's it's uh, the maps are difficult, well, in potentially are difficult because um, they are not accessible by nature. So um, all the tiles should describe what they are doing because they are images, usually, and uh, that's almost impossible. So the, uh, the common practice is to use a uh, canvas and describe uh, what is happening on the page. So uh, when, you, uh, when you use a screen reader, you should say to the user, uh, um, the user is that they are uh, arriving on a map page, so they know what, what to expect and know that they're probably not uh, are able to use the page. And I will end with, um, and this is the same thing. Why, and by, we use uh, open layers for uh, the map here. And Open Layers has, a, uh, has features to make a map accessible, at least for uh, keyboard access. So you use your arrow keys, you use the, uh, I think it's Control Plus to zoom in and things like that. And yeah. That's, sorry, I have to skip a lot. Um, and yeah, I was, my, this, proved to be the, the most difficult part to make the map accessible. The map is not accessible yet, so there's an open pool request to do it that um, reshuffles all the HTML to uh, um, make uh, use of the open layers features, uh, reorder all elements, uh, add text, everything. And, wow. and um, what made it difficult, I forgot to uh, include the uh, top index is null. So it's, uh, that made it uh, uh, work with a keyboard. Testing, I use uh, uh, DevTools in the Chrome browser. And uh, I want to make a remark that passing a test isn't the same as accessibility. Because uh, meaningful content and labels can only be, term be determined by a human human, because uh, sometimes uh, uh, an image that contains a dog and you say the label is cat, then the test is passed, and it's, uh, it's not the same. Well, too long. 
basically, it comes down to writing valid HTML. And uh, accessibility is not difficult to implement. It's a lot of work, and it needs constant attention because every pull request can potentially break your accessibility. And in GeoNetwork, we do harvesting, so we harvest external sources that can break your accessibility. And um, it's a lot of work for a uh, uh, um, large existing application. So um, if you have the chance to start all over again, please uh, um, think of accessibility from the start. And this is the, I will skip this one. This is for, uh, if you want to read it again, where I re highly recommend the guy on Smashing Magazine who did what nobody wants to do, I think. And he has some articles about uh, one day using Internet Explorer 8, one day using uh, keyboard only, one day using uh, surfing the web with only a screen reader, or surfing the web with only uh, 50 uh, MB of bandwidth. And yeah, thank you. And if there are questions, or if you want me to explain a little bit more, please visit me at uh, Geocat booth. So, Thank you. Thank you.